here guys i'm shifa i'm a btech graduate so during my btech days i was not that much into coding all i know was just a little bit of php i started my career as php developer as a chennai based company and later on i joined at maker.xyz and that was my life turning moment for me and that's the point where my wordpress career actually started Appaker.xyz started by Sally and Mohammed Anis during their BTEC third year. So they were actually freelance developers doing some app thing for some clients, and they noticed there are some like specs and requirements were almost same. And they why not bring an automated platform to build native apps? And that's the point where Appaker.xyz was born. Okay, and. During the college days, I have seen Sally. He was my colleague. I can proudly say that he is my colleague. And uh, he faced a situation like a night before examination. There were a issue going on with apps of a client, and they were so dedicated, so hardworking. They were into it and they solved it. Now we have clients from more than 50 countries, and which is a great thing. We started with two members. Now we are of 60. I mean, 18 members are there. we our plugin has 1000 plus active installations and one among the top rated wordpress mobile app plugins and we are also featured in you your stories startup by the top 15 list and we are so proud and i proudly say that i am working as wordpress plugin developer at appmega.xyz before getting into the session may i know the, like developers how many developers are over here or something like that Oh, okay. Thank you. So, I'm going to deal with WordPress REST API integration. So, what is an API? So, during my college, college or something, if somebody asks me what is an API, my answer will be API stands for Application Programming Interface. And then, I don't know. I just know API is a application programming interface. Actually, API just helps two applications to communicate each other. For example, let me say with a real life example. real life example like uh, if uh, oh i'm so sad today my heart is broken so what do you do next go do a, take a browser and search for heart broken codes and response will be like oh be silent when you are heart broken so we are putting that as our whatsapp or insta status i don't know what this emotions have to do with status and all anyways here we are sending a request to the server actually it's the api who receives the request and respond accordingly so api always remember api is on the server side not on the client side okay there are many types of api i'm going to say about rest api wordpress has its fully functional rest api in the year 2016 the wordpress version 4.7 so rest api is specifically designed to i mean retrieve the request and response for i mean for particular type of request using simple html commands or using simple html methods so the response will be in json format json is javascript object notation which is a textual representation of javascript object and the data will be in key value pairs always remember that okay while in rest api you have to be familiar with certain terms and one is routes and endpoints it's better to say and with example than the definition so we have a built in api to get all the post list of a site like site url slash wp json slash wp v2 post will give you all the post of a site if you want to do more filtration like you can add category equal to this and per page equal to this and this will filter your response accordingly and if you are not using i pretty permalinks i'm not getting into what pretty permalinks is anyways if you are not using that you will get a 401 error and then you have to use query params like rest underscore route for that wp rest request is the class that handles the request and wp rest response is the class that handles responses so we have certain structure for input and output and they are defined in api schema and using controller classes you can register routes you can handle the request even you can make your own routes and this other request http request that get post put and delete 
get is for retrieving the data. As I mentioned earlier, the example for getting the post list, it's a get request. And next one is post, it's for adding the data. Put is for updating the data. And delete, as the name says, it is for deleting the data. <coughs> If you want to restrict the content and the access to the users, for restricted users only, you have to do the authorization part. So WordPress provides cookie authentication. It's a little bit difficult to use, so we have to use other plugins. For example, basic authentication plugin. But the drawback here is we have to pass username and password in each and every request for making it authorized. So it's for testing purpose and all, it's OK. But we have to use JWT plugin, that is JSON Web Tokens plugin for authorization. So here we can create, generate a token and this token can be used for further request authorization. So this is an example how you are creating the token, like giving the route as wpjson jwt auth slash v1 slash token. And here you are passing username and password and you can generate a token and this token can be used for further authorization. And it's just extension of WP REST API. Here I'm using REST API in it as an action. And the two routes, routes are of the same name, like custom slash v2 slash q. And uh, if one is for getting the latest post, and the second one is for adding the post to the category. So I'm going to define these two functions. First one is for getting the latest post. Here I'm passing the category as a parent. And I'm using get underscore post function, passing the category post per page offset. And here I'm going to give back the post. And for particular function, it's like post title. And next one is adding post to category. Here we have to give the body, it's a post. So it's post title, category status, corner, whatever you want. You can give it as parents. And you can use WP insert post to insert the post to WordPress and get underscore post for retrieving the post. This is, I'm using Postman for showing the responses. So that's our endpoint and we have content type as application bar JSON and this is how the response is going to be. It is giving back the last, I mean in a particular category, the latest post is post 3. I'm giving, it's uncategorized I think. And the next one is for post action, here WP JSON custom v2 new, I'm using the same route and I'm passing the body as title, category, content and the JSON will be like this, I'm adding the name post 4 into any category and make the status as publish. Let's talk about the application. So WordPress had many limitations. Actually, the WordPress REST API helped the WordPress to connect with third-party applications. So mobile apps is also a third-party application. It uses REST API. And here comes the role of appk.xyz. We convert WordPress or WooCommerce websites into native apps in just seconds. OK, and headless CMS means it just not have front end. The whole, I mean, the whole site will be managed with backend and API. You can use WordPress as the backend CMS, then the API to create the mobile apps or Jamstack sites. Jamstack is for creating uh, like websites, apps with better performance, security and all. You can create Jamstacks by using uh, WordPress as the content managed backend CMS. And by using WordPress REST API, you can actually spend less time in accessing the data and can spend more time in creating better and better user experience. So you can always contact me on my Twitter account, mail me at shippa.xyz and we have a stall over there. There are many experts who always work on the day and night in REST API. You can contact with us. We are very happy to help you. Thank you.